All right. Well, my name is Luke Edmondson, and I'm excited to be joined here today with Mr. Jerry Guionis. So thank you for hopping on. Uh, we're talking a bit about uh, the upcoming Little Red Schoolhouse for the Dallas PPA. The yeah, I can't wait. Dates for that are Friday night, the 9th, the That's 10th, right. and the 11th. <laughs> Jerry, tell us a bit about yourself. <laughs> well, I'm a uh, fashion portrait wedding photographer. I was born and raised in Melbourne, Australia. I've been living in the U.S. for the past nine years. I, I still go to Australia like two months of every single year. I've been shooting for 25 years, teaching for 20 of those 25 years. And uh, man, we, we just love what we do. I think uh, you know my purpose and my purpose with my wife is to bring out the best in others, whether it's making brides look and feel beautiful or whether it's actually uh, giving people uh, an understanding of light or maybe you know teaching people how to tell stories better or actually helping, you know, helping people have a more balanced life. That's what we do. So that's our mission. Sure. And when you're going to be doing um, your stuff with Little Red Schoolhouse, it looks here like we're going to have lectures and demonstrations, uh, shooting bays that people can go to uh, after the lectures. Uh, that's going to be what's happening on the 10th. And on the 11th, it's going to be um, uh, how to relax your clients and evoke emotion and value. Uh, mortality and legacy. So a bit, uh, a bit more. Uh, I'm guessing less about the nuts and bolts and more about some other important matters. Yeah, no doubt. Um, look, the first day, well, well, the first evening, um, we uh, actually, you and your dad and Melissa and I are going to be together, and we're going to have a bit of a discussion. And um, I think it's revolving around competition and, and different things and discussing th things beyond technique. But I, I feel it's probably going to go in the competition way, or any way that the audience wants us to go. Sure, we're going to be open totally book fun. for them, right? <laughs> exactly, absolutely. And of course, we have our we have incredible chemistry personally and professionally, so I feel like that's going to be a really fun evening for us all because we have similar values in different ways. Um, I'm going to talk about posing in a way that does have meaning and also um, and also the foundation of posing as well, of course, which uh, many of us maybe haven't been taught or been taught correctly, and we'll be doing demonstrations and also talking about posing challenging subjects, normal everyday issues that I think um, don't come up a lot in posing uh, lectures these days. So we're going to give you practical demonstrations. Um, and yeah, so it's going to be an incredible first day. The first day very much is going to be a full day of of the, the holy grail of photography, which is the lighting and the posing, which those two words often go together. But we're going to go deeper than perhaps than people have seen before, let alone seen from me before. Because I've spoken several times over the years in Dallas, but um, it's been several years since I've done that, but this is going to be really cool. Speak about shooting with empathy and what it is to see somebody through a loved one's eyes. And I think the freedom that comes with that, that I have found for myself, and perhaps uh, this is, is part of your intention, is that um, it's a lot easier to not feel stuck when you're out on, on a situation because you're no longer just following your set routine or perhaps sure. a set system, uh, but you're able to see things in new and different ways, which leaves you open to uh, innovating. And I think that's one of the things you're known for. It's it's funny because when, when people talk about posing, uh, people think it's a, just a mechanical process. And yes, there's what I call the architecture of posing. Uh, yes, this is going to make someone look slimmer. This is going to make someone look more curvaceous. This is going to make someone look more masculine and so on. But I think that as I've matured as a person, as I've matured as an artist, I think, I think it's inevitable that you just want more purpose. And you know, and that's just to do with life. That's to, to do with your with any kind of industry. You know, first you just want to make it. I just want to understand posing. Then you want to master. Then you want to master posing. But then you then you want to matter. And mattering is really, as you suggested under your breath, there is once you shoot through the eyes of a loved one, is you're able to see things in a different way. Like you're not trying to remember pose 23. You're looking at that girl with that dress, with that hair, with that light, with that skin with her grandmother and the environment will tell you what to do every single time. So I think what I want to communicate above and beyond the the foundation to posing is getting a bit more intricate and more sophisticated in how the environment will always tell me what to do. And I'm telling you, it, it took a while for me to just walk into a room and and look at a person and not be stuck, but I want to give you a lot of the shortcuts that took me to get to, to, to where I am today, let alone, it's a never ending process of learning, right? So, sure. Yeah. But, but you're cultivating people's ability to see. 
to, yes. see, to see beyond a system, to see beyond a pose, be able to decide quickly and efficiently uh, yeah. what's the right way to go. And then how do you put something in the right headspace, which is also part of the art that you have is, is when you talk about what you're going to do on the second day is, is how do we speak to people in order to evoke uh, things out of them that maybe if they're more restrained and at the same time it, there's always that rare occasion where somebody's too excited and you got to use your voice <laughs> to, to help bring them back to try and get them into more subtle and nuanced types of uh, expressions so yeah yeah no doubt look the second day it's funny I think people will actually probably book for the first day and end up leaving knowing that the second day was the most important because you can be technically proficient and you can be a genius artist but if you have no empathy and you have no uh, dare I say it no soul no depth <laughs> to, to your personality and you may certainly everyone has depth is whether you reveal it yes. or whether whether your lack of experience and technique inhibits that coming out on a day that makes you feel comfortable that makes people you're photographing feel comfortable that's the, that's another story so you know, the, the following day, certainly there's some tried and true techniques that I've used over the years that I've been teaching for a long time and how to evoke emotion, um, how, how to relax people. I'm going to I'm going to be showing very specific examples and tell you tell many stories and show you with video stories and things that I've learned over the last several years that I haven't shared in Dallas, let alone a lot of places around the world that I'm excited to share. So we are going to laugh together. We're going to cry together. We're going to we're going to have some epiphanies together. And the cool thing is that two days or even two days in an evening together that's where you can really make change because if i have one out a two hour gig yeah i can do one topic and get a decent chunk into it but two days building trust together and building relationships together with our audience and i also what i do is i i start off most seminars by asking questions what are your biggest challenges that you're facing and what i do is i weave other things into those seminars as extra value so so get ready, uh, Dallas, that uh, when I first say hello, I'm going to talk to you for probably for half an hour, maybe even an hour, and, and get to know you, know the challenges that you have in business, know the challenges you have creatively and artistically and personally. And I have hundreds of seminars in my on my computer, and I can quickly divert to any seminar, really, sure. of, of the past 20-odd years that I've been teaching um, to, to give you extra value. So I can't wait. I really can't wait. Not only do you do it artfully but you do it seamlessly and people don't even know that you're weaving that's, what's, that's, that's what part of the brilliance is it just seems all like it's one fluid thought no uh, thank you mate so people are going to really enjoy that friday night is going to be an inspirational night uh having the guionesses and the edmondsons in the same room is something we shouldn't miss you know uh, I, I look forward to the to the opportunity i think the the thing that you know speaking from my side of it having dad and myself there along with you and melissa is uh, while we share a common bond through photography uh, you know our i would say our connecting point runs deeper than that no and, doubt. and so because of that it will be fun just to be able to be up there and i can't wait to see how the the natural chemistry that we have uh, the four of us will will evolve on that evening so certainly guys if you're watching and listening right now that i think the four of us the four of us put together, we might in fact be a genius. Just, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're a quarter of a genius each. So you add us together, I think we'll be the. I think we would uh, offer the, the the best learning experience, uh, let alone the the on flow that's going to happen the following two days. That's right, and the location is fabulous that we're going to host it at. I believe it's at uh, PCS, uh, their studios, uh, and so it's uh, air conditioned. Uh, it's big. Uh, there's screens that people can be able to watch on. Plenty of space. And then for those that have never heard this before, and I'm going to butcher it, but uh, you were named one of the top workshop instructors in all the world. And uh, and so that just speaks to not only uh, your ability to communicate, but also the value that you bring. And uh, and that's what this Little Red Schoolhouse is going to be all about. It's a tremendous uh, learning opportunity and, and value that people definitely uh, shouldn't miss, whether you're a member of DPPA or not. Well, yeah, we can't wait. I, w I don't want people to come away from these two, two, two days in an evening just saying, oh, that was really inspirational. Uh -huh. I'm like, well, no, there was hundreds of things that I can implement. And here's the thing. You will not remember everything, but you remember it when you make the mistake again. Yeah. If you, yeah, I think that if you had to sum up the whole two days, it would be how to create more purposeful and meaningful photographs, technically and emotionally and empath empathetically, I, I would say they're the that's the summary of those days. So, like I said, if if the last several seminars that I've done have got anything to do with it, I mean, 
People have had life-changing epiphanies um, from that second day. Um, so we want to create a very, uh, how do I say, safe place to learn. Yep. And if I wear my heart on my sleeve, I, I really want and expect the same from my audience. And then we can all grow together. We can, lie, you know, like I said, we can laugh and cry together and, and, and really, you know, hopefully this will be a turning point for a lot of people um, coming to the seminar. So I can't wait. Well, I love it. Thank you so much for hopping on, Jerry. I super appreciate you, and I look forward to seeing you this August in Dallas. Can't wait, mate. See you soon. Cheers.